Going beyond material news distribution, what's your strategy for keeping investors informed through proactive investor relations? Sure. When I talk to uh, companies and to their investor relations offices, I come in in an advisory capacity, and uh, because I work in the socially responsible investment space, I'm talking to them about what shareholders are asking in terms of environmental and social issues. And I think from, uh, for an investor relations officer, uh, it is important to know that those, the issues that are coming up in terms of uh, shareholder dialogues around environmental and social issues, they may not lead to resolutions that you know, pass or that get more than you know, 5 or 6 percent of the vote. Um, but they are issues that flag important issues for the company, both in terms of legal risk, in terms of reputation. Uh, the people who are raising those issues with their company uh, are approaching them about major policy issues that your company may need to respond to. And it may not be the investor relations offices that is in office that is primarily engaged with dealing with the issue. It may be your corporate social responsibility person. It may be someone in human resources. Um, but all of all of those offices can be coordinated in telling a story. And you may already have groups within your company, such as the uh, corporate social responsibility group, that are publishing reports. And those reports are going to be informing uh, groups like socially responsible investors that are then in seeking to engage in dialogue. And I think what you end up with is a, a give and take uh, where those uh, investors are approaching and looking for long-term dialogue. And I think the Investor Relations Office is an important frontline effort in hearing what investors are saying, connecting them with the right people in the company to get those long-term dialogues going in a fruitful way so that there isn't backlash against the company that may be ultimately harmful. Yeah.